today I'm taking a ferry to Aegina, just uh, out of the port of Piraeus in Athens, Greece, and I'm going to tell you how to do it. Basically, not basically, actually, what you want to do is take uh, the green line, which is the one that ends in Piraeus, it's a metro, I think it's number three, uh, and you just take that down to Piraeus, and as soon as you get off the metro, and there will be ticket checkers, so there's three people keep checking tickets, so don't, don't uh, steal a ticket. Uh, so you go down, and right as soon as you get out, there'll be a little ferry kiosk, and that services two lines. I think it's Blue Star and this cheap Vagina one that takes a little bit longer. Um, everybody's loading. Okay, everybody's loading. Uh, it's only eight euros to get there, eight euros to get back. If you buy a return trip, it's uh, eight plus five, so it's 13 euros round trip. Uh, we'll finish it on the boat. We'll finish this on the boat. So. Um, I definitely recommend getting in the shade or on the second floor. I went up and checked out the top floor and it looks a little hot. Uh, they have booth style seating and maybe once we get going I'll go up there. But. So you'll have to check the times because sometimes the, the cheaper one will get there at the same time as the next fast one. So like one, the cheap one left at 12.15 and the fast one left at 12.50. So we're going to be getting there around the same time. So since we have nothing else to do today other than get to this island, we just got the cheap one, and we'll take the couple of euros we saved and uh, get a drink or something. We're actually going to try to swim. Not sure if that's going to happen. If you want to get money out in Piraeus, there's ATMs all over. We actually went to the Bank of Piraeus, or Piraeus Bank, and uh, it was. Very, very clean. There's actually ATMs inside. It's the closest one to the port you can get to. Bought a pair of sunglasses for five euro. Uh, we're gonna see how nice the other line is on the way back, but this seems to be the one most free, like normal people use. So we'll get the experience. You could also take an Uber down here. I think it was like 14 euro to get down here, but we got the transit pass instead. Be sure to have cash and change especially change because the credit card machines on all the ticket machines have been broken. Like every single metro station the machines that don't take credit cards. So there's a reader, but they're broken. So. so here's the company that we used. If you can see that, that's the one that's at the, the exit of the metro. If you want to research that. <laughs> so thanks for watching. So this is the uh, express flying dolphin ferry and you'll see it's much like an airplane uh, with a sign seating and actually kind of boring um, the other one the cheaper one you could actually get up and walk around at the expense of a half hour or 40 minutes ish of extra time but there was a restaurant on that one uh, this one smells like rotting tar and there was no signage to know when you got on, so or to know where you got on. Overall, just poor. I don't know. Just if you don't have much time here, this one's the way to go. It's the way you gotta go if you don't have much time. But if you have an extra half hour to spare, uh, the other one was much more pleasant.
lawn chairs, or not the lawn chairs, the beach chairs and the umbrellas were free. Very good service, reasonable prices. I got a Amstel for 360 euro. Uh, girlfriend got wine for 550 for 700. 50 milliliter. Um, went down to the next beach, got a two person meal for 13 euros, and then a beer for another 360 ish. Uh, fed some cats. <laughs> fed some cats. And then people we were all really nice. Went back to the first bar, which is actually on a really rocky beach at Marathon A. Just the first one. The other three have sandy beaches, but the first one is but cheaper on food, I found. Cheaper and the beach chairs are nicer. And the beach chairs are nicer at the expense of rockier beaches. But they do have stepping stones to let you out into the sandy area, which was amazing. I'll put the name of that place right here. I'm not getting any money from them. I could care less about their business, but it was good. Um, nice bathrooms um, to change in. They had nice bathrooms at that one. The other one had really nice bathrooms. The one right next to the one I posted. Uh, oh, the first one. I went back to them and they called me a cab for free. And uh, that cab on the way back, even though it cost seven euros to get from the port to Marathon A, for some reason it cost eight euros, probably just because they charge you a call fee or whatever. Um, but yeah, we got back to the port, and then we boarded in this flying, loud-ass dolphin, <laughs> and there was no signs that said where to board it, uh, so we had to ask the ticket office there, the one closest to the tour info sign. And they told us where to go, but again, it's just like, there's no signs, it's just like a, a, a ladder and a, a moor, so, and now we're on the way back, and it smells awful. It smells like there's a car running in my garage, and I'm trying to commit suicide. <laughs> it smells very bad in here. I would highly recommend to take the cheap 8 euro. Slow Gina, one. Slow one. Because you can walk around, there's a nice bar with a cafe. Fresh air. You got a nice coffee, there's fresh air. Uh, I might die and never post this because of the fumes. <laughs> I really don't know. I hope not. Uh, here's the view out of the window. We're going about 40 miles per hour according to the GPS, so the other one must be 25 ish miles per hour. So yeah, a day trip from Athens can be done. We uh, board the, the subway around 11, no, around 10.30. So at 10.30 a.m., you get on the subway, you can do it. We got to Freyus around 